Yeah, and, and, and you know, like as far as you know, the market and the velocity of the market, there are more homes available today by about 39 and 40 percent than the same time last year. So buyers have a bigger selection. Hey there, everyone. Jamie with Sell for 1% Realtors, joined by the gang, Jason Barlow at Broker Dave Barlow. And we are also joined by Rich Circone at Equitable Mortgage. Today, we're going to be talking about the PCE numbers, personal uh, consumer expenditures, and also uh, a little bit about mortgage rates. So Rich, take it away. What do you got for us? Hey guys, so the PCE number, along with uh, a lot of the other inflation data that we've seen over the last month or two, has been tame. It's showing uh, inflation is not as big a problem as it was uh, in the past uh, 18 months or so. This is good news for interest rates. And um, um, also, employment has been fairly stable. So all in all, what the economists are now saying is the Fed has quite possibly engineered the famous soft landing. Soft landing meaning that they were able to raise interest rates to slow the economy down without crashing the economy. Uh, so that is the good news. And um, ahead of that now, they're thinking the Fed may be lowering interest rates once or twice, and there's a debate whether there be much more lowering beyond that. I think it'll be data dependent. But uh, all in all, what we're seeing is uh, a moderation in rates. We're in the sixes on most scenarios. We aren't really lower than we were maybe a week or two ago. We're just staying in that high six range. But if you have a if you have a certain uh, mix of uh, down payment and credit and everything. You might be in the low six range in, in the uh, government loans like the VA and FHA, extremely lower six range, 6.1, 6.2. So um, in general, that, that's good news. Everything pretty much has a six in front of it, unless you have roughed up credit and a smaller down payment. So uh, it's a great time again to buy houses. Uh, the market, uh, I think, has slow down and demand just a little bit. So you might be able to think a minute before you make an offer. You guys are better at uh, knowing that than I am. But uh, all in all, uh, I think a great time to start thinking about buying a house sooner than later. Yeah. And, and you know, as far as, you know, the market and the velocity of the market, there are more homes available today by about 39 and 40% than the same time last year. So buyers have a bigger selection but we are seeing just about the same exact number of homes actually closing. And so, you know, it's not, I have a lot of people I talk to that, well, we're going to, you know, the market's not good, whether it's a buyer or a seller. And it's like, you know, there's a lot of doom and gloom, a lot of headlines. And when you actually drill into the numbers, I don't think it's as bad as what everybody makes it out to be. You know, I think it's still a, a, a pretty good market. A lot of my sellers were still getting, I mean, prices are up 3%. I'm still getting top dollar for my sellers. And yeah, if you're overpriced and there's, you know, extra houses to choose from, you'll be slower. But if you come on price right, I know my listings are selling. I, I know dads are selling. Um, I don't, I think that the headlines are way worse than what the reality is on the ground. And I think a lot of sellers are hearing that from their agents because their house isn't selling. So what's the agent going to say? Oh yeah, you know, my marketing's not great or, you know, no, they're going to blame the rates. They're going to blame the market slowing down. But the truth is, is that things are moving. Jamie, you have to be priced right. That's for sure. Jamie, what are you seeing from uh, your buyers? Here recently, I've actually seen a, a decent amount of houses that maybe have been on the market 20, 30 days that all of a sudden are having offers coming in close to asking price and coming off the market. So... It does seem seem like buyers are entering back into the market here as of late, try to capitalize on good interest rates. And yeah, it, it bizarre. I've actually shown um, to this week that, you know, sitting on the market for 20 days or more. And when we go take a look, they have offers all of a sudden. So things are starting to move. 
I think the biggest thing you know that I'm seeing is um, a couple things. One, uh, I think that the market is becoming a little more balanced as far as it's not a seller's market like it was, you know, last year, two years ago, three years ago, but it's not a buyer's market like it was 10 years ago, you know, during the foreclosure crisis. I think that we're seeing a little bit of a balance and, you know, from the, from the buyer side, I think they do have a little more negotiation abilities. And from the seller side, I think uh, you just have to be a little more realistic about pricing. Uh, we're in a very good position that appreciation values uh, that were up 15, 17 percent, you know, a couple years ago. We've not lost that. Uh, we're, as Jay mentioned, uh, it looks like about three to four percent on average market wide. Obviously, some areas are a little higher appreciation values. Um, and so, Sellers can still take advantage of selling their home for more money, um, but it's not that. Well, your house is worth four hundred gram, and we think it's going to sell for four fifty in the bidding war. Um, we're not we're not seeing that kind of craziness, and that's why I think that probably a little more of a balanced market, which is good for both the buyer and the seller. And I looked real quick, the uh, Freddie Mac. Um, average as of yesterday was uh, 6.78% on a nationwide basis. Every market's going to be a little different. Uh, um, Rich, you guys are, you know, six and a half, uh, thereabouts, six, six. Um, a year ago at this time, it was 6.81%. So interest rates today are about the same number it was a year ago. Um, one of the things we haven't talked about uh, a lot and is that every four years we see the market enter the presidential election. And the closer we get to uh, that first Tuesday in November, um, we see the market kind of slow a little bit. And I, and I think it's more of the deer in the headlight look that with all the rhetoric and everybody throwing, you know, fire at each other that the market itself just kind of says, well, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. Should we buy? Let's wait and see. Um, and I think we have a little bit of that going on right now. So anyway. Yeah, I think that's a good point, Dad. Like I felt like two weeks ago or whatever it was, I mean, I had a several sh listings that we were tracking really good on showings. And then after the assassination attempt, that week, it's like a lot of my listings just kind of dropped off with like no showings. I don't know if that was like, there's kind of like a fog and a haze, like what's going to happen, similar to the election, like who's what's going to, you know, what what's going to be around the next corner. Right. And so now rates are settling in. One thing that Jamie said I thought was interesting was, I mean, right now in Columbus, based on the June numbers, I think Dad was saying the average time on market's about 21 days, 22 days. And that's just on average. Some will still sell on day one, day two. I have plenty that do. But, you know, for Jamie to be out there in the field and reporting back that, hey, I'm showing buyers homes day 20 on the market and all of a sudden it's got two offers. I, you know, that's what I'm seeing with my sellers is if we're priced right, you, you may need to wait two or three weeks instead of two or three hours to sell your house. But to me, wait, because you're going to get the value. We're, prices have not gone down. You know, you're saying, Dad. So, you know, it, now if you have no showings and you're overpriced, you're going to be punished. If you've got, like Dad would talk about, you know, red uh, shag carpet and green walls, okay, that's got rough conditions, probably not going to sell right away. But, you know, if you don't sell on day one, day two, day, don't panic. You know, don't give your price away. You know, you don't need to jam a million open houses in. Just let it come to you. The market's not bad. Yeah, I think, you know, the June numbers came out uh, from uh, the Columbus MLS and, uh, we still sold um, 2,700 homes last month. 28 or something, yeah, yeah. around there. So, which is you know, which is right where we were again last year. I mean, it's, the, right. the market is not cratering. The, right. The death of the market is greatly exaggerated. Exactly. And so it's like you know, keep going. Don't you know? Keep the boat afloat. Keep it. Keep swimming if you're a buyer. And if you're a seller, don't give up. You know. And if your realtor is blaming the market, call us. You know, we've. We've seen we've seen many markets. We will. I guess I shouldn't solicit listings, 
if you know, but if you if your agent could not sell your house, call me, call dad, call Jamie, you know, we'll get it sold. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of pent up demand right now. I, I talk to a lot of people who are in the two and three percent range on their house and they're just sitting there. They don't want to buy another house and, and go to six percent. But I think that uh, we we get below six at some point. We get into the fives. I think those people that have been sitting there knowing they'd like to move, but they don't want to give up their great rate. I think the fives would incentivize those people to make a move. And so the point here is, if you have a house you want to buy, don't wait till the fives because at that point, there's going to be a lot more buyers out there competing against you. Well, and the other thing that happens there, Rich, and, and maybe uh, a graphic will pop up here because I sent it over to Jesse to be done, that, you know, if you look at today, uh, say a $500,000 house at 6.5% interest, uh, your payment's $2,400. But if you wait and interest rates come down into five and three quarters, but the house appreciated, you know, up another 50,000 bucks, you're actually going to pay more in your mortgage rate or your mortgage because the, the value of the home went up. So it's a, it's an interesting dynamic that's happening in the world. Uh, one last point this weekend, I'm going to give you the wrap up symbol. This, this weekend is the last weekend of the month. And then we have the perfect storm with the end of the month happening on Wednesday next week. So then we have the first weekend of the month next weekend. And typically what we see is that more buyers come into the market because they're about to flip the page into the next month. And there's a little bit of angst that we need to find something. So we'll see if we have a little pop in the market with interest rates holding around 6.5%. Last weekend of the month, the more buyers come in to purchase. And then the first weekend of August next week, again, we usually see little pops in the market uh, with that. Uh, we had that happen with the 4th of July weekend, but obviously 4th of July weekend was 4th of July, which is typically a slow weekend. So that last weekend of June, was good, but then we rolled into the first weekend of July, which was a 4th of July weekend, which was slow. So anyways, we'll see if the theory works. Very interesting discussion. Appreciate your guys' uh, thoughts and insight on the market, Rich especially. Uh, I hear a lot of this stuff from uh, Dave and Jay on a daily basis, but uh, appreciate the insight, Rich, and hope you guys learned you. something. Uh, if you guys have any questions about buying, or selling real estate here in and around Columbus. Um, of course, we go everywhere. I know Jason has a listing all the way in Jackson. Our information is on one. Screen. Well, there you go. It was Jackson, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Dayton, all within 30 days. Pretty good. <laughs> you can go all over the world, anywhere in Ohio. Call Jamie. He'll come do the listing appointment. There you go. And Rich, appreciate your insight as well. Your information should be on the screen as well. Thank you. And we will be back uh, next week with a, uh, a new update. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.